difference between selling to women and selling to men is that when a woman walks into your place of business, you can tell yourself right then and there that you're going to need to talk a lot more and listen a lot more and the woman is going to talk an awful lot more than the men. So get yourself geared up for that. Women are way more intuitive than men and so they're checking out the person that they're talking to, they're checking out the facility, they're looking at everything. Most women tend to notice every single little thing. So manufacturer or retailer should know that they should keep a really neat workplace because that tells the woman that the business owner takes pride in their brand and in their place of business. So that's one thing I think is really important. Women want to be educated. The more you educate them, the more that you help them, the more they're going to remember you and appreciate you. We hear so much about customer satisfaction. Well, that doesn't impress me. What impresses me is the amount of loyal customers and customer advocates that you have. And women tend to tell other women and men about the value that you provide and if they had a great experience, which is another reason why it's so important. And if you can do something, even the smallest thing, that can make a woman appreciate you, now you have a customer for life. You have a customer who will refer business to you. And also, what is really important today in automotive aftermarket, and probably every business, is People want to do business with an organization that has a great reputation. And women, since they talk more than men and are more apt to provide referrals and talk to other people about you, that is uh, another reason why it's very important to pay attention to this very important aspect of doing business.